<laughs> you know what, in 2019, I don't want us to ever take for granted the awesomeness of drone shots. Now, whether it's on shows like Top Billing mm. or those sweeping scenes at festivals yeah. or dramatic battle scenes in movies, drones really have revolutionized the way we see filming and photography. Absolutely, they've changed the game completely. But, you know, there is now an opportunity for anyone to go out and learn to explore and discover the legalities, the art, the science. And when I say the science, it is quite the science of drone flying. And there's one place where it all starts. Have a look at this. The drone buzz has hit South Africa really hard in the past few years, but it is serious business. And that's why I'm here today at UAV Industries in Cape Town to find out exactly what it takes to become a commercial drone pilot. Let's check it out. UAV Industries is one of only two companies in Africa to have both a certified drone training school and a drone operator certificate. So to learn here is to do so from working professionals. Whoa, okay, Jan, I have to tell you, I have played around with some drones before, but this all seems way too next level. What's going on here? Um, technically, if you've got deep enough pockets, you can buy these off the shelf and start flying them as a hobby. But as soon as you want to fly them commercially, start making money from them, you would need a RPR license and, or a commercial license as well. And this is where it all happens, right? But what's the process to get in this remote pilot license? Firstly, we've got ground school. So ground school is the theory part of the license. And we sit in the classroom where everything gets explained to you. We start off with the subject of air law. You go through human factors, meteorology. There's a few other subjects we also cover. So it's, it's quite advanced. We get into aviation. So this is your first stepping stone into the aviation world. It sounds like an intense program. Why would I need to understand air law and the weather and all of that? You fly in a controlled environment. You fly in other airspace, other aircraft, manned aviation aircraft. You fly with them, but just at a lower level. So you need to know how they think, how they talk on the radio, how they understand airspace. Well, I think I'm ready to get going and just understanding this process. Should we go? Yes, let's go. Given the speed of these crafts, it's best to start your skill development in a controlled environment. Jan, I'm guessing this is where all the practicals happen? Not entirely. So normally we go out to a registered flying field, but what we've done here for you today is we've set up a drone in here just to get you a bit of a feel for how it is on the sticks of the real thing. So Mustafa over here is going to explain to you how everything works. Mustafa, that seems very intimidating. Yes, it is, but it is actually Jans. He will have the master transmitter, so in your flight, if anything happens, you will make the correction action. Okay, do I not get one? Of course you do, this is your one. Are you ready to give it a try? Uh, yes, I am. So exciting. Should we go? Okay, so what you want to do is, everything's about small movements. Okay. You're going to hold, try and hold that drone in the same position, while maintaining a good altitude. You want altitude one to be about eye level. Are yeah. you ready to give it a go? Yeah, I'm nervous, but let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start it up for you. Okay. Okay, your throttle is down. Yeah. Okay, you've got control. So we'll okay, raise cool. the throttle slowly, like I explained. Right. Here we go. That's it. Slowly down with the throttle, up again. Ah, <laughs> <drone -a>. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing this okay? Is it normal that it must go so fast? No, so you, what you want to do is slowly, small movement like a sprint okay. with a throttle. So Upwards. up and down, so up and down, slowly with the left stick. Okay. okay. Let's just say if this was an aeroplane, we'd all not be around anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> we definitely all did. <laughs> Mustafa, this is yours. You handle that, baby. This is not my world, maybe. <laughs> just yet. <laughs> we'll get you there. Yes. <laughs> This is aerial photography at a fraction of the cost of manned aircraft, making it highly popular across the security, mapping, mining and survey industries. Hmm, wow, Jan, I've done my theory, I've done my practicals. What's the last stage of it? So the last step is called a skills test. So that's when we get an examiner in. You will test your theory knowledge as well as your flight ability. And then after that, you get one of these. It's called your RBL. The remote pilot license. So basically this is my ticket to the skies. Correct, yeah. With this you can work for a company that's authorized by CAA to do any commercial work you want. There's a lot of industries you can go into. Well, there's companies that um, operate in filming, there's companies that operate with, in agriculture doing mapping, you can do security with it. This also opens you up to the broader aviation industry so you can fly Boeings and bigger airplanes one day. Yeah. 
Jan, I've had a really good time with you here today, thank you. But I think I'm gonna leave all of this flying to professionals like you. I think that's a good idea. Okay, let's go have coffee though. Yes. <laughs> Getting your wings has never been this accessible, affordable and potentially profitable.